This was all part of sting operations where undercover officers pretended to be the bad guys. They met up with criminals and uh, were able to buy guns, drugs and stolen cars. It's like Netflix. This is like Netflix stuff. It all began as a gun and drug trafficking investigation back in April that resulted in undercover officers purchasing six weapons and 200 grams of cocaine. As police continued to infiltrate this criminal network, the investigation then segued into Project Paranoid. This was focused on the trafficking, shipping, revinning and re-registering of stolen vehicles. In total, 48 stolen vehicles have been recovered, including 20 that were seized from a shipper location in Burlington. 20 more were intercepted between Toronto and Montreal with the help of the Canadian Border Services. Three were located through search warrants, and Superintendent Steve Watt says five of those cars were purchased in a risky sting operation. We had undercover operators sitting in stolen vehicles, purchasing stolen vehicles, purchasing guns, insulin vehicles, so the danger is next level. Several businesses in the GTA have also been identified as locations where these cars were being stored and either revinned and sold here or prepared for shipping overseas. It's a trend we've been seeing for the last five or six years, really increased since the pandemic where the numbers have turned into crisis uh, numbers. For the first time, Ontario hit more than a billion dollars in auto theft claims in 2023, and there's no signs of slowing. And while there are calls for a national strategy to crack down on this, Toronto police are applauding the provincial budget announcement this week that included $46 million to purchase four helicopters to help police forces across the GTA track these stolen vehicles. We're getting into the area of police pursuits, which is high risk. Um, we're getting into the area of carjacking, we're getting into the area of suspects that are driving with complete disregard for everyone on the roadway. So a helicopter is a huge asset. Now, Project Paranoid has led to the arrests of seven people with 150 charges laid. And Melissa, police tell us that six of those suspects have been granted bail.